We're hearing what we hear about climate change. What does the average person not know that's going on? <laughs> An awful lot. Specific to climate change. Okay, specific to climate change. Well, I would say the biggest thing that they don't know is the degree and extent and frequency with which climate has changed naturally over and over and over again. I mean, I would say this. Okay, so explain to me how we get from half of North America, the climate of half of North America, 10 to 12 to 13 15,000 years ago was a climate like you now find at the South Pole. I mean, that's not an exaggeration. If you believe that the climate, that there's some steady state that we're supposed to find that we're, that's what we're supposed to, you know, what are we trying to do here? Get back to the climate of the 1800s or the early 1900s. People don't know the extent to which climate has changed. So I just mentioned the fact that sea levels rose 400 feet. Well, nobody's in the mainstream is really thinking about that. You know, you have to go to marine geologists, they're talking about it and realizing it, oceanographers, paleoclimatologists who study ancient climate will tell you, yeah, it's overwhelming that evidence that the climate has changed over and over again, orders of magnitude beyond anything we've seen in the last century or two. That's what most people don't know. They don't know the degree and extent to which the climate has changed naturally without anthropogenic influences and long before we were driving SUVs and putting carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The other thing they don't know is that the thermal capture ability, the long wave radiation coming off of the earth that the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can capture is limited. It's in fact, most of the thermal capture is within the first hundred parts per million. And beyond that, it tapers off logarithmically. It's like a leaky sponge. That's what's being captured by carbon dioxide.